I read an interview once with George Harrison that said, was asking him why he wrote songs, and he just said it was sort of like gardening for him. It was uh, kind of a therapy thing, or he wasn't really doing it necessarily to make money or uh, get famous. I mean, he was already famous at that point. It was just something that he just did on an almost daily basis, and I, I'm kind of in the same way, so. I just really uh, am intrigued by the creative process, and it's like just a lot of fun for me. It's almost too much for any one group of people to absorb. People are always asking me about, uh, you know, certain aspects of the band. They want to know about the band, uh, the certain stories that they've heard, were they true or not, these kind of things. So after hearing that for several years, I got the bright idea, well, why don't I just write a book? I started this book about 10 years ago, maybe a little more. The book originally started out as a biography of El Duce, but as I uh, went forward with the writing process, I realized it was, it was actually my story uh, worked into the fabric of the mentor's story. So it sort of starts from the beginning of my life, uh, goes forward with um, how I met El Duce and Siki Wife Beater, the bands we played in, the experiences we had in uh, junior high, high school and beyond, how we started the band, moved to LA, became somewhat famous, and you know, all the ups and downs and funny things that happened along the way. And it it's a hell of a fight, I gotta look at it, it's where it's at, I, I go ends with uh, the unfortunate passing of El Duce, which is not the end of the story of the mentors by any stretch of the imagination, but it's the end of his life, so that's the end of this book. I, every word in this book was written by myself. Every, every, uh, there's no editing in it at all from anybody else other than myself. There'll be a ton of pictures that nobody's ever seen before. A lot of stories that perhaps people haven't heard. This book is the unvarnished, uh, my recollections of what happened. Coming out this year with uh, a documentary, what you're doing, of course, the April Jones documentary on the mentors. We don't have venereal disease. Look at that portal, Beyond that, I'm hoping to uh, license this for a screenplay for a major motion picture. I think it uh, would be a fantastic uh, story to tell on the big screen and uh, get the rest of America and the world involved in uh, what the mentors were all about. <laughs> Yeah.